I wake up every morning, five o'clock in the morning, pray, trust my God. And I say, I start talking to myself, today it's gonna get better. My biggest fear would be one of my staff members getting really, really sick. Because the way I look at it, <clears throat> not that it, you know, people that work for me, I'm sort of like I'm sending them in to the front lines. And that's why I want to be next to them because I don't expect anybody to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Housekeeping, I don't think a lot of people think about housekeepers and EVS staff. We seem to be kind of in the background, but we're not. We're definitely on the front line. And I do look at it as a battle. And the enemy is the bacteria, it's the virus. And the virus is everywhere. If we're able to catch it so easily, if it stays on surfaces for hours, days, who knows how long, I know that what I'm doing, wiping everything that I can, removing infectious waste and trash, and I mean, we're trying to save lives. At first, it was hard to put all of your PPE on and get ready for the day, and now it's become routine. We spray all the walls down, all the equipment, the furniture. When we get finished, we don't want to leave any virus behind in that room. It's not just taking a trash bag. It's, it's a, there's a lot. Sanitize light switches and the bathroom and the sinks and clean the floors, cleaning doorknobs and wiping everything down constantly all day long. You have to make sure everything is spotless. So I think I would like to train somebody that wouldn't understand what I do. That way they could see it for themselves. And I heard that we start receiving uh, patients with the COVID-19 over there. And I was like, oh, uh, so it's, it's really true. I have cleaned rooms for patients that I have seen one day their eyes are open. And I talk to them. I say, hi, I'm here to clean your room. I don't know if they acknowledge me or not. But uh, I think, well, you know, this person's eyes are open. And then the next day they're not there anymore. You see people dying by themselves alone without family, nobody with, with them. That's not easy. It makes me sometimes I go to my closet and I cry when I see that. But there are no options here. You have to stay in the fight. We're here 24 hours, seven days a week. The virus is here and we're going to keep fighting it until it's gone. There's a song that they play over the loudspeaker system and it's Sweet Caroline. And they play the song every time somebody is discharged. So when I look out the window, I see everybody is like lined up. I'm like, what happened? Oh, we just um, we just discharged a COVID patient. He's good. I my eyes started crying upstairs in the in the room. I was like, oh my god, it's so exciting, you know. And it it makes a difference. Everybody in this facility, no matter what department you work in, is working toward the goal of getting through this pandemic. Everybody's helping everybody out. It's really something to see. Because we all have a job to do, and it's it's what you it's what you do. You don't quit. When I started the job, I didn't think that it's important like that. But now I understand that we are doing something huge and something big. Something we are positive. Taking, taking care of others, and that's not easy. We're never gonna forget this. It's like people that went through World War II. They, World War II changed people. This is gonna change us, but if we don't learn from this, then we've certainly missed an opportunity to make humankind better.